Okay, so the total arc length of this semicircle is L, right? So the angle from here to here is pi. So the radius of this semicircle is R is equal to L divided by pi. So if we want to find the force coming from the whole semicircle, <coughs> we need to look at <coughs> each tiny part of this semicircle. So if we just look at this tiny part, suppose this angle is very small, it's just d theta. So the arc length of this part is r d theta. <coughs> so <coughs> the force coming from this part the df coming from this part is going to be equal to due to the gravitational force. G, the mass of the mass point here, and the mass of this tiny part, dm, divided by r squared, this distance between them, right? <coughs> and we can express this dm by this is the density of the rod here. It's the mass divided by the total length times the, the arc length here, which is r d theta. That's the total df. So the df is going to in this direction. Suppose this angle is theta. So we can divide the df into two directions, dfx and dfy. So for each tiny part here, we can always find a corresponding part here which have the same magnitude of the force, and they have the same x component, but their y component is going in the opposite direction. They are symmetric, right? So their y component can always be canceled. So every point here, you all can always find another point here, their y component get canceled, but they have the same x component, right? So we can, so the net force have only x component going to the left. So now we take the integral of the df, try to find the net force, right? So we have g small m, we're plugging dm into here, and we're plugging r into here. We have is equal to g small m pi capital M divided by L squared. L is a total length of the rod. N times cosine theta because we're only looking for its x component. We don't care about its y component, let's get canceled. Okay. The angle range theta comes from pi up, comes from here is negative 2 pi to 2 pi. Okay. Because here is 0, here the angle is 0, it has negative, it has positive, so it's from negative 2 pi to 2 pi. To negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. This is just a constant. We do integral on this one, this becomes sine theta. So it's sine 2 pi over 2 minus sine negative pi over 2. We have 2. So in the end, we have 2. This is the final answer.